Nice crowd. <laughs> I got out here as soon as I could. A little tough time back there? I'll read it for you. Employees, please wash hands before returning to work. My first trick? I'm glad you asked. on the basket. That's the basket over there. <laughs> Easy. Up. <laughs> I'm back for the first, huh? <laughs> Only the beginning. Only the beginning. <laughs> How else? <laughs> Get out. Shakes, they're critical here. Now here's the plan. First the simple tricks, then I slowly move into the more difficult tricks, <laughs> and I pack up all the stuff and shove it on EB tomorrow morning. <laughs> Seven years on ER. The magician, that's what the rag says down there, the magician <laughs> cuts the piece of rope in half. Two pieces. <laughs> this guy is dynamite. <laughs> hey, that's terrific, audience. Simple trick of sticking the two hunks of rope back together again. Keep your eyes on the two hunks of rope. <laughs> Only way I know how. Don't get mad. There it is. <laughs> Cleverly done together. Whoops, wrong rope. <laughs> okay, who fucks around with this stuff back there? <laughs> I'll tell them what happened, I'm not afraid. <laughs> Some crumb back there cut them both. The hell do you think I am, a magician? <laughs> sure gets the act off to a bad start, don't it? <laughs> well, we go on just like nothing happened. <laughs> Here's one. Here's another one. Nice to see you. Here's one I saw another fellow do at one time. <laughs> he was a magician, too. He loved crossword puzzles. That was his game. He died last week. They buried him six down and four across. <laughs> I miss that guy. The, uh, oh, this guy. First thing he did was very neatly tear the sheet of paper into a number of bits. Neatly. Ah, come on. There's a faster way. Used to be a chicken plucker. Not too much money, but you meet some crazy chicks. The magician. All right, they can't all be gems. The magician neatly packed it into a nice little bundle. And a few passes over with a pizza tray. And we store the piece of paper. <laughs> There's a trick I wish the hell I could do. Oh. Seventeen, black. Yeah, you lose again. Well, time for a few car tricks, huh? <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> yeah, that <they're> good. <laughs> Playing cards, what will they think of next? Four of hearts, five of diamonds. Six of spades, <laughs> nine of clubs, two of hearts. <laughs> Next week, I do it with cards. <laughs> All right, you better go ahead. You practice. Oh, they're critical out here. <laughs> but I'll say one thing. Maybe I'm not the greatest, but I am the best dressed. 
Gotta look good, you know. You never know. It's a guy out there catching me for the Motel 6. The Blue Room. I hope I get it. <laughs> well, it's been wonderful being here for this occasion. <clears throat> I don't get here very often, but I do eat in the neighborhood. Oh, God. There's a few good blows still left. I'll take care of that later. How much time do we have? All right. We go on just like nothing happened. <laughs> From the empty paper bag, I produce a 68-pound pigeon. That's the small one. First, <coughs> first, I blow up the bag, give them what they've got. That's all after the fall. At the count of three, the pigeon. One, two, well, you know, come out flying. <laughs> fly, boy, fly. Yeah. <laughs> Snap out of it. You know what a pigeon looks like. Oh, you've been so nice. I'm going to finish the act with my big trick. I'm going to put the rope back together again. together as I can get them. I tried the best I could.